Oh, yeah, it oh, usually oh. does, but I, I had to get everything oh, wet today. What do you mean? I vampire I had to get it wet. No, so vampires that I are could, scary. Uh, They're not even no. scary. Oh, I had to get it wet. Here's my so hiss with my teeth. He tried to pick it up, but it was stuck. It was stuck oh. to something. So he gave it a good hard jerk. It came off of his hand. Then he heard something groan and, you know, scampered away. The boy took the toe into the kitchen and showed it to his mother. It looks nice and plump, she said. I'll put it in the soup and we'll have it for supper. Soup. That <laughs> night, his father carved the toe into three pieces. Yo, oh, lovely the soup. Whole boy, oh, boy. Mm -mm -mm. White meat, dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it really nice. tastes like chicken a lot. And they each had a piece. Then they did the dishes and when it got dark, they went to bed. The boy fell asleep almost at once, but in the middle of the night, a sound woke him. It was something out in the street. It was a voice, and it was calling to him. Here's my boy. groaned. When the boy heard that, he got very scared, but he thought, it doesn't know where I am. It'll never find me. He heard the voice once more, only now it was closer. The boy pulled the blankets over his head and closed his eyes. I'll go to sleep, he thought. When I wake up, it'll be gone. But soon he heard the back door open, and again he heard the voice. Where's my toe? Groan. Oh, oh, all right. Say, hey, where's my toe? Hey, buddy, where is it? Then the boy heard footsteps moving through the kitchen, into the dining room, into the living room, into the front hall. Then slowly they climbed the stairs. Closer and closer they came. Soon they were in the upstairs hall. Now they were outside his door. Where's my toe? The voice groaned. His door opened, shaking with fear. He listened as the footsteps slowly moved through the dark towards his bed. Then they stopped. Where's my toe? The voice groaned. Oh, yeah, that's instructions on what to do, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you yeah, still do it? Says, and then at this point she'd go, You got it! Oh, so that's how that goes. The big toe also has another toe. ending. When the boy hears the voice calling for his toe, he finds a strange looking creature up inside the chimney. The boy is so frightened he can't move. Uh, he just stands there, then stares at it. Finally, he asks, what, what you got such big eyes for? <laughs> <laughs> and the creature answered, to look you through and through. What you got such big claws for? To scratch you up and to scratch up your grave. <laughs> what you got such a big mouth for? <laughs> now it's in the book. It says what you got a bit of big mouth for. To swallow you whole. What you got such sharp teeth for? To chomp your bones. And that's how that goes. Oh. Bada bone. Bada bone.